So currently we're at the Tower of Life Main Shelter in Kyrgyzstorp. Cash Connect decided this year that we will do our charity outreach along with Tower of Life staff members to donate canned food and non-perishable items as well as preparing dinner for the guys who live at the Tower of Life at night. On average we dish for 75 people inside every night and we do up to 45 plates for outside every night. So we're cooking for uh, 120 uh, people. It's hard work. You know, I don't think anyone realizes the amount of work that goes into preparing dinner for over 100 people. And I think we take people like that for granted. We, we need people like George and Kotso who runs the kitchen and runs a facility like this. So yeah, it was, it was hard work preparing these dinners and it's, it's a nice feeling to know that we could give them a night off. It's, it's almost like feels like Christmas, having somebody to come cut cabbage for you. Uh, thank you very much to Cash Connect guys, if you can just like thank them and, and, and just be appreciative of all the effort that they put in from prep to cooking the food to serving you guys. To join a charity like the one that we're, we're assisting today humbles you in a sense that you see that no matter what you experience in your life, there are people out there that's got it worse and that there's a story behind everyone. It's not just a beggar, it's not just someone on the street who couldn't make decisions and is just drug addicts. It's a human being that made one or two wrong decisions in their life and they are now stuck in this whirlwind of experience on street. Um, and it's up to us as a community to help these people and get them back on track for their life. That plate of food that you offer them every night is just something to fill a gap. It's something to allow them to make it to the next day, to be able to make the next plan. And that's what's really important about this kitchen. Day to day, we drive past these people. We, we never give them a second thought. You come here, you will have a whole different view on, on these people's lives. And, and I'm just so grateful that we could be a part of it today. You look at it from the outside world, a lot of people look at us and go, yeah, you guys got yourselves here. Yes, we did. And yes, we're trying to fix our lives. But having people that come in and look at us in the eyes and say, we want to do what you guys are doing, that is huge to us. It's not giving in monetary value. It's about giving some of your time, giving a bit of yourself to whoever, even if you carry some groceries for someone who doesn't have that extra hand or helping a mom take care of a child while she puts the other one in the car, whatever you can do try and do it and let's all make uh, an effort to make a really successful Mandela Day.